walking around, grooving, paying shit, grooving, eating food, grooving, grooving forever. Yo, what up guys? I'm Mochak and I'm a DJ and producer from Brazil. Back in the day, I would say no mustache. I just hate how I look without the mustache, but I just love getting new tattoos and getting more tattoos, and I just want to get so many new tattoos. So, no mustache, maybe. Yeah. I took it off like maybe two times, and it was a regret, an instant regret. The last time I took it out was actually like by mistake. I was supposed to cut it with the scissors a little bit, just to get it out of the mouth a little, and I like, did some, some movement, yeah, and I cut like a weird part of it, and it got like weird. So I had to shave it all, all the way through. It just looked terrible, it just looked like 14. <laughs> so yeah, ever since that, I, I didn't take it off again. I just cut it a little bit from time to time. <laughs> Never using social media again, 100%. Streaming my whole life, no way, <laughs> no way. You're not seeing that. <laughs> I think the interesting part I'm gonna share anyways. But you like social media, right? I don't know if I like it. Like, I like stuff that comes from it sometimes. Having streaming platforms, for example, gave the opportunity for a lot of artists that wouldn't be able to release their stuff and have an audience to, to do that, because you can post it online and people can check it out. That, that social media gives you sometimes, that's really like, it gives a lot of cool opportunities for a lot of cool stuff to unfold. I learned how to produce on YouTube. I learned how to speak English on the internet. I learned how to skate watching YouTube videos. So there's a lot of good stuff that comes from it, but there's a lot of bad stuff that comes from it as well. I cannot say that I like it. I cannot say that I dislike it. I try to take my best that I can from it and I just try to get away from the bad shit. <laughs> Always dancing forever. Grooving forever. Walking around, grooving. Paying shit, grooving. Tying my shoes, grooving. Eating food, grooving. Combing my hair, grooving. And if I'm doing it always, that means I'm never getting tired of dancing as well, because otherwise I would just stop dancing if I got tired. So I'm just grooving forever. Grooving forever. So also at serious places, funerals. <laughs> Bad. I think I would say never skate again because I will only be able to skate until a certain age of my life or until my legs let me or until my back lets me and I already have a bad back. So I don't know if I have like <laughs> that many years of skateboarding remaining in my life as I have of listening to music. Like I can listen to music until I die only if I get deaf, 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 deaf. If I get death, I'm gonna get death. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, I would have to stop skating and keep listening to hip hop. I just cannot stop listening to music. Do you skateboard a lot? I used to, but I don't have time to skateboard as much as I like to nowadays. Whenever I'm, I'm back home in Brazil and I have a couple of days off, I'll hit the guys up, I'll hit Nadine Massa up and all the homies and just hit the pavement. <laughs> I remember there, there was one day where I was skating with, with a friend of mine at my house. I had a little box for us to grind on, and my friend just had a really bad injury in it, and he just fell forward and he broke his arm in two, two places here. It was like a open wound, like the bone sticked out. It was really traumatic, and that got me like a little bit scared for, for a, a period. I kind of stopped skating for a bit. And then when, when the, the pandemic hit hard and, and we got into quarantine, I would go out to skate, like just to get my head a bit like out of all, all that was happening. And it really, really helped my, my mind at the time. So skating comes and goes sometimes in my life, but it's, I, I know it's gonna be present throughout. <laughs> I really personally enjoy more to listen 
to club music. I just like it, sexy, tight, not as, uh, I like it, you know? And the club music has that for me. A festival is, is just such a mix of, of like when you, when you have multiple stages, for example, you're gonna have people that are sometimes gonna see your show just because it's something in between. Like I, I've had uh, artists that I discovered through that process. Like I was, for example, I saw a show here that I wanted to see and I have like another show that I wanna see in like one hour or something. And, in between this time, what am I gonna do? Let me watch some, let me watch a new artist. Let me discover something. Are you familiar with gra Grammatic? Really sick. I discovered them through like, like exactly like that. I just started walking through the stages and trying to find something that catched my ear so I could just commit. When I was getting closer to the stage, like the groove just started building up. It seemed like the crowd was fully moving, <laughs> but not like, generically dancing. People were like getting down on it. It, it was just really, really infectious. The music was really, really sick. Go check it out if you don't know Prematic. So, uh, yeah, I prefer the club sound. I think I'm gonna go with club. I like the intimate vibes as well. I like to be close to the crowd. I like to be on their face. Look at the, at the eyes of the people. When it's really far sometimes, like you don't get that that close connection with the with the front row so yeah i'm gonna go club <laughs> <laughs>